Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check for subscriptions on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now I'm gonna walk you through two different options. One is for an iCloud subscription, and then the other one is for various apps. So let's open up the settings here, and you're gonna tap on your name at the very top. On here, you can see iCloud. I can tap on that. And at the very top, it says I have used 1.2 terabytes of two terabytes. So I have a subscription on here. I can always hit this manage account storage and change storage plan. Basically, I can control the subscription to how much storage I want on my specific device and on my Apple plan. So this is one thing that will not show up on your app subscriptions. So let's go back and back again, back again. And you can see right under payment and shipping is subscriptions. Let's tap on that. Now it will show all of the active and expiring and inactive subscriptions. So you can see Apple One here, Disney Plus, all of these different ones. And then of course, any inactive ones as well. So on any of these different ones, I can just tap on it. And if I want to cancel it, I can hit cancel that service. Keep in mind, it usually allows you to have that service until your next billing date, and then it just won't charge you or bill you on the next billing cycle. So you can see January 9th, 2024 is when this renews. So if I cancel it now, I would have this service until January 9th it would not bill me on then, and then I would lose service for this specific app or whatever subscription it may be. Now, if you go through all these and you find that there's one that you didn't authorize or you didn't mean to buy, or you meant to cancel, you can always go to reportaproblem.apple.com. Now, this is really nice because you can log into your Apple ID and tap on what would you like help with, and you can request a refund. And maybe you can see, I didn't mean to buy this. And then just hit next here and you'll be able to choose one or a bunch of different these subscriptions and request to get a refund for those. Essentially, if you didn't mean to continue or renew it, you can always get your money back. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.